Good side. Here we go. Right, hi everyone and good morning. I hope you can join us for live talk with Gabby. And we are going to be talking about women and our cycle. So Gabby, I would love you to say your name, full name, because you say it so nicely with your accent that <laughs> if only you can say it right. <laughs> now you can too. But anyway, <laughs> I am Gabriella Guglielminotti Trive. Yeah, very easy as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I'm glad. And I think we should really start um, by introducing how our cycle works really with the females, so mm. the female's body. So you can tell us a little bit more. Yes, um, okay, what, what, what's the big thing about, uh, let's call it menstruation, but normally if you want a really big precise menstruation is just uh, the week when as women we bleed. So it doesn't really cover the whole month. And uh, the secret on understanding why the whole month is important, uh, we get into that in a minute specifically, is because to many of us, uh, maybe uh, we don't know, or definitely I didn't know, um, we don't, we are not familiar with the different changes of the energy that actually our body takes during the month. And this is something very basic. <clears throat> I'm saying basic because it involves our body. And we should be aware of our body. We should but, understand our body. But we don't. <laughs> and um, the moment we do, everything changes. And how does everything change? because of awareness. Uh, we are in a time when we speak about awareness more, fortunately, and uh, this is an awareness that every single woman should have. I think so, because it's important to understand your body. Once you understand your body, you can work with it better. Yes, uh, but you know, I'm trying to think what was the thing that uh, before knowing that uh, would me I would miss the most, mm -hmm. and I suppose uh, having been a menstruating woman for over twenty five years or so before becoming aware of what's going on really deeply. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, because once you know, you know it's diff difficult to imagine how it was before, but yes, I remember kind of stumbling. <laughs> It's the best word for maybe to describe how I was going through my life, you know, through month after month, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then what happened was when I came across Alexandra Pope and I became aware of how our menstrual cycle runs us, um, then I it's like I was given the secret, so I couldn't just pay attention anymore. I, I had to. And so I would get the, I would remark and would realize, oh, but I'm in this season, so I feel such and such. Oh, it's true. Oh, that's why I feel more being with friends or oh, I feel more insular and I prefer to stay at home. And uh, it's not just that, it's the fact that then uh, you realize, okay, I have to go to work and I have maybe to have a meeting and I'd rather be in bed. Yes, right, you still can do that, but because you're aware of what's going on with you deep inside, you will treat yourself so as a, an ally, right? Rather than, oh, silly me, today I'm hopeless. Yes. yes. How many of us think that? Yeah, many times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Throughout the whole month, of course, yes. Sometimes stronger than the other days, you know. But that's exactly what you're talking about, isn't it? How throughout the month. Yes, so we, we, do we do change. I call them season because uh, uh, inner season, to be precise, to distinguish them mm -hmm. from the season that we all know, obviously, the, se the season or season, yeah. the one we go through in... Um, Obviously, in latitude where we have four seasons, there are latitudes where they have just two, but it doesn't matter. 
uh, with the internet, even people that live in the tropics, they are aware uh, mm -hmm. it can have links, <laughs> yes. even if they don't. So basically, uh, if you think of the four seasons that we all experience sooner or later in our life, which uh, is the spring, the, summer, yes, autumn, uh, winter. Yes, autumn, uh, spring, summer, winter, mm -hmm. and, and uh, fall, yes, winter. Yes. So um, we tend to feel in a precise energy, meaning not every day, but we tend to be, for instance, in summer much more joyful because we have more sunlight, generally speaking. The warm climate helps us to feel our body, you know, it's more relaxed, so we tend to feel more social. Um, whereas in winter, it's not that we become like uh, horrible monsters, but uh, we feel more kind of staying indoors. Sort of blocking ourselves exactly. away from Exactly, so it's everything. a more an inward journey during our, uh, autumn and winter. It's just because the energy that is out there uh, takes us to a place of being quiet or quieter than normal. So we still have parties in winter, of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe it's an indoor party, as not a village fete, you know, or, or festival. So uh, we tend to maybe invite our own friends that we know. So you can see, same uh, opportunity, <clears throat> but played and lived through in a very different way. So can you tell us on the journey? Okay. Yes. Because I believe that us understanding our bodies and how we operate, how we work, um, helps everyone around us oh, to yeah. kind of accept us in a, in a different light. You know, yes. because the changes of the moods that we can be experiencing obviously, you know, affect everybody else around us. This is how we kind of um, react to situations, yeah. to people, you know, depending on which season we are in. Yeah. So can you tell us on the journey where yes. it starts? Let's start the journey. Yes, let's. <laughs> so uh, let's start from uh, from spring, uh, simply because it's more kind of uh, conducive to. So spring is basically uh, the second week uh, in the month for a woman. Is the first week that uh, the woman experiences after the bleeding has stopped. Mm -hmm. So, um, like in spring. Um, we have uh, an energy which is very vital, very bubbly, very new, like uh, the energy of a puppy, you know. It's like coming a, alive, isn't yes. it? Like flower. It's like, um, yes, in, in, in spring is the season for blooming. Yes. <laughs> it's the blooming season, right? So we actually bloom. And, and, and uh, by the way, the, the, this is the energy of a normal spring, but uh, our inner spring, is uh, really uh, comparable to the pre-ovulatory phase in a more physical terms. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was saying, it's the first week after the woman has stopped bleeding. So during this week, uh, physically, our body is waking up. Yeah. So like uh, as we are waking up, we need less sleep and we have more energy and uh, we are kind of re remembering all the lovely things that interest us, you know. So maybe old projects uh, that were put aside because we're tired, we don't have uh, maybe the energy anymore to, for, to carry them on. We remember them and so we have this renewed impulse to take do, them back home. Yes. Okay. And also, um, we tend to kind of wake up to the world. So we find the external world interesting again. So again, uh, uh, if we have to network, or you it's know, a good time to network. It's a good, it's a good time <laughs> to do the energy it. flows out. And yeah. a, a warning, though, um, because we have so much energy, it's important to be aware of this. Why? Because if we just go with the flow, without no awareness, without any awareness whatsoever, what happens is we burn out. You know, so. The Feeling this surge is fantastic, but the awareness of it happening is also fantastic because then it allows us to, to think, okay, um, I'm very vital at the moment, but I'm going to ratio my energy so that I can spread it for all the things I want to do. 
So this is the energy that is particular of our inner spring. So are you saying that basically within our first week in the spring season, basically, we can be sort of using so much of our energy that we are sort of lacking of the energy throughout the, the other weeks that are going to follow? Well, uh, because um, I think it would be more clear at the end, but okay. um, let's go with the journey step by step and then we, we maybe uh, generalize it so the overview becomes clearer okay so this is the first week then uh, from the energy galore of spring we go into the second week which is summer so uh, physically is like uh, the ovulatory phase so it's actually the week when our body ovulates so if we have uh, a physical encounter with the opposite sex, we might conceive a baby. Uh, inside of us, uh, we carry this energy of summer. So energy of summer is very warm. So I would say also because it's warm, <laughs> in degrees becomes warm also socially and energetically. Yes. So we tend so in we summer. Tend to be warm. Yes, yes. <laughs> we tend in summer to go on holiday, to meet new people, to to have parties and to share our wealth mm -hmm. or to celebrate more. It's just all, all around this type of energy that revolves us. Seems like it's a tornado, you know, type of energy. And as women in this season, obviously because nature knows it well, yeah. would like us to procreate. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. the whole plan, right? So obviously we have to be outgoing, otherwise a bit difficult, right? <laughs> <laughs> to have encounters that can take to yes. the bedroom or whatever. So, okay, so jokes yeah. aside, uh, it's important to know this because behind, behind everything there's the simple reason that nature wants to carry out, which mm -hmm. is the procreation of the species, you know? Yeah, so do we have to procreate at, at all costs? No, of course not, but it's a good time for us to think of our projects. There can be any sort of project. Uh, this is the moment when we have the most energy, we are the most outgoing, and so it's very conducive to have lots of communication. Okay. So and uh, if we need to have a meeting or discussing, it would be a very successful one. Of course, it's not guaranteed. <laughs> but but uh, it depends on be, Being uh, outgoing, it helps us we are more open. Yeah. That is very interesting because you know if you if you start planning your life around it, it, it really can transform. Yes, have you been using it? Well, of course, <laughs> as much as you can, you know, you can plan in a savior yeah. way, cycle, say. Yeah. But um, we, 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 I want to discuss this at the end because we, the the purpose here is freedom. It's not to go into have a like kind of a, a rigid, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, scheme of things to follow, and so we are not actually free, freer than before. Mm -hmm. It's important just to understand and then to take advantage of our awareness to our advantage for what we want to do in life, of course. So the is it clear the energy of summer is really. Less springling energy. and bubbling and uh, um, very energetic. Okay. So then we go into okay. autumn, and our inner, inner autumn is comparable to the premenstrual phase. It means that in this season, as we uh, normally in autumn, we, we start uh, realizing that winter is looming ahead. It's like um, the, the leaves are falling down, the energy yeah, is coming. Yeah, but even just in the last days of summer, I'm, I'm sure you realize that some days you just feel the chill in the air in the morning and you have that feeling that, oh, the energy is changing. It's not summer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it is. Oh, I do that. <laughs> I, I do that too, yes. Yeah. As, soon as, so, as soon as it happens, I'm like, oh, so okay, we're just coming. <laughs> sad to leave summer, but hey. Yes. Um, so, going back to our inner uh, autumn, so we start feeling this chill in the air. What does it mean? Physically, our body is actually start to 
talking to us mm-hmm. in, a, in such a way, look, your energy is going down now. So it's a good idea to have uh, less uh, outgoing activities. It's a good idea to rest more. And also it's a good idea to look into your so-called larder, you know, and go and check if you have all your supplies for winter. What it means in a more kind of social context is that instead of saying yes to everybody, mm-hmm. we start saying no. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, if we are not aware, we start feeling, why do I say no? Why am I feeling more concerned about my stuff rather than other people's? Again, this is the importance of our menstrual awareness because this is really so important for us as women. Why? Because it's in the inner autumn that we understand what is important to us. Okay. After the summer where we are so outgoing, yes. we are yes, woman, so everything is yes, we can do it. Yes, I can, I can do it. And, uh, and also the trap brings you down to earth to it look after yourself again. It's the truth moment, you know, and uh, it's the moment where we stop a moment <laughs> before answering and we think, actually, no. <laughs> and if you are not aware that this is okay, and it's very okay, actually, and it can be really productive too, uh, we might feel, oh, I'm becoming antisocial, or I'm not that nice person anymore. Why? What's wrong with me? I this see. is very typical. What's wrong with me? That is, Woman, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Everything is <exactly>. right. <laughs> it's just how we feel, isn't it? But I find it that, you know, it's easy to say yes to everybody when we feel you've got the energy to exactly. give. But then at some point I've been noticing it on myself as well, you know, as towards the end of the month, which obviously is towards the end of yeah. um, the four seasons, I'm sort of feeling like I'm drifting away, you know, I'm feeling like I don't want to say yes to anyone or anything. Yeah. I just want to lock myself inside. And it's, I think it's about trying to learn to manage your inner energy okay. so that you can find the right balance along the way to love every single season, basically. You said it perfectly, and this comes from awareness. Yes, exactly. Because if you don't know, no. then you are constantly questioning, why am I feeling tired? Why am I, why that person annoyed me with a little simple thing? You know, when it's not always them, but we always need to first look at ourselves. Exactly. So, so it's exactly the point. Why to have awareness? Because of that. Yeah. So when we are in an hour, in an autumn, instead of uh, believing what the media says about us women, oh, you know, you're PMS, PMT, and all these acronyms, by the way, PMS stands for premenstrual syndrome and PMT stands for premenstrual tension. Why do we get tense? Well, again, uh, not necessarily it has to be a tension or a syndrome, meaning that the word in itself means something mm-hmm. bad. It's simply that we get into an energy in, a, in our inner author that is more inwards and so it's more concerned about our project, our thing, and what is important to us. So going back to our energy journey, because we have less energy, having less makes us very focused. It's like having a deadline. It yeah. makes us very focused. Yeah. And so that's why it, I would say saying it's very productive uh, week, it can be. And, uh, or in a season because in this season because we start seeing things differently with a focus that is more inwards you know all the more careful aren't yes. we, about making decisions we know we know it's like in, in autumn yeah. you know in old times we started doing the harvest and collecting everything yeah. filling our barns with the produce that yes. is important to store away before winter. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So that is actually the same concept. It means really to treasure what you have. And treasure is a good word because it makes us feel abundant. Yes. And and that, abundant. Yes. yes. So if we treasure who we are, we really use carefully our energy because it's less, again, 
we can't have a bullet in our pistol. <laughs> Which no. one I'm going to use to shoot what I really want to shoot at, right? Not people. <laughs> so, but joke aside, if we need to shoot people, figuratively speaking, why? Because if we follow everybody else's plan, goal, project, where is the time for our own? For us. For ourselves. Right? Yeah. So and do you understand then why we have the syndrome or tension? Because we are not aware that it's time for us. Yeah, and it's the journey that happens inside of our body as well. Yes, because so physically what happens is the lining of the endometrium, which is the lining of the womb, in case we haven't had that lucky encounter and we have conceived a new being, uh, what happens is preparing to then be shed off in the following season, which is the inner winter. Yeah. So uh, it's almost like a preparation is a phase in which our body is preparing to get rid of something it doesn't want anymore because mm -hmm. it's not needed. Mm -hmm. So pay attention here. What is that we don't need anymore that is this season is the perfect season to, to start thinking because we can shed it. Mm, definitely. So what can we cut off all those yeah. things, you know, clutter, yeah. so to speak, yeah. in all senses? Yeah. That is that thing that we don't need anymore, we can get rid of for then being able in the following season, our inner winter, to really go into a altered state of, of awareness, mm -hmm. which is um, the menstruating week, the bleeding week, comparable to, to, the, to winter, what we, you know, what we do, what do we do in winter? So we rest. Really, uh, we sit by a fireplace, exactly, covered in a blanket. Exactly. <laughs> yes, or a hot chocolate. And, and, yes, exactly. <laughs> and watch some nice family movies. Yeah. So, okay. But I think cause talking about the autumn, it kind of makes sense because, you know, through spring and summer, we are really booming with energy and everything. So we put so much on ourselves that, you know, in, there has to be time. When it just suddenly all becomes too much. Yeah. And you know, when the body will let us know that now is the time to really take it easy. Yeah. So it, it So let's just finish with winter because then I want to go through the cycle and give you an overview, mm -hmm. a general overview. Perfect. So in winter, how do we feel? As you said, Monica, you're quite right. You know, if you have a fireplace, you want to sit in front of the fireplace, fireplace, and if you have a door, you want to say with the dog too, you just mm. bat the dog. And what does it say to us? It's a time which becomes very intimate. And we can have this intimacy with ourselves if only we pay attention. Oh, I'm going to winter. It's my sacred time. Now I'm going to rest. Now, when we rest, it's like we go to sleep, right? And uh, we go into dreaming state. We all dream all the time. We might remember our dreams in the morning or not, mm -hmm. but that's not the point. We do dream. Yeah. And what does it say? Well, the dreaming state is the state where our mind may, ties up things, right? So we explore the things that maybe have been left over from the day, and so we dream all these crazy things. Dreams are strange, right? They They're are. very simple. Yes, they, they definitely are. Yeah. And I want to point out exactly, this is the energy of our winter. It's very symbolic, it's oniric, <laughs> which is a legend word really that comes from uh, the word for dream. So in the dreaming state, everything is possible, isn't it? And uh, there is no, exactly is there is no sequence sometimes logical I mean there is a sequence which is different from the normal logic. So in this uh, particular week, as our, our body physically is shedding the lining of our womb, so we we perceive it as blood coming out of our vagina, is actually on an emotional or psychological level a week where we shed. So it means we get rid of stuff that is not more required. 
that's not required anymore. Now, in this state, if we lower down the volume mm -hmm. and we spend less energy in doing things out in the outer world, we can do more things for our inner world. What does it mean? Well, our psyche, our mental state becomes very active. It's almost like the perfect time for our unconscious to become very good friend with our conscious mind, which means we have this conversation that in this week is happening more than normal. It, it can happen, of course, conscious and unconscious mind can be friends all the time, but especially in this week, this communication is eased. I think we become quite sensitive to it. So, because it becomes eased, it's the perfect time to pay attention to what the messages that come through, even if you are not sleeping, mm -hmm. um, even in conscious state during the day. Uh, if we are not distracted too much with the outer activities, to do things. Yeah. Yes. What it means is that uh, we can have a download, free download. Hey, women, free download. I like that. <laughs> it's I like it's that, free. Yeah. <laughs> Gratis. So what it means is that we might have insight about our, our present, yes. or things we are doing maybe that might require some answers. Or we could have insights about our past or things that trouble us, or it can be anything. So it's kind of all coming out at that specific week, yeah. emotionally and from it our can, unconscious it mind. It can. Yeah. So if we are attentive, yeah. uh, it's there for us to be ripped off. Oh. So ripped off is not the right word, but to be taken, to be accepted englobated in, a, in our normal life mm -hmm. and it's a gift why is it a gift because to have answer to our question big question is I think not a, always something that we have absolutely but I think it sounds like if we become aware of it mm -hmm. then it becomes much easier in that specific week to listen to our inner voice yeah that is always right Basically, is the intuition yes. is heightened, yeah. right? I yeah. like put it in, in the conscious and the conscious mind, they become very good friends because it's what happens really. It's like we become liminal, or it means that our psyche become more permeable. Mm -hmm. There's another good word to express what happens, and so we are very sensitive, as you were saying. So, everything that normally is all right. Can become very dangerous or or uh, even aggressive you can perceive so it as something really is violent and it's mm -hmm. normally not but in that week it can kill us absolutely <laughs> it's what i was saying about you know us understanding our seasons our changes of energy it helps us to understand why we pursue certain situations um, or you know certain interactions with people differently yeah why we are so overacting sometimes you know or why, why we can even get angry at someone that you know said a little little thing and i think it's really important to for women to understand it but also for men because if men understand oh yeah. their woman then the life becomes much easier you know because we all we are just human beings really as individuals and we all need time for ourselves whether we like it or not Oh, so spending absolutely. too much time or all the time 24 7 with people whether it's family friends or anyone it's just <laughs> draining our energy all the time and also it's psychological that we are sort of aware of other people and we consider more what other people think about us but at the end of the day everything comes down to me ah. the way i am here you the way you are here you who are watching it's all about you and how you understand yourself we can't get rid of this thing <laughs> it's the connection between the body mind and spirit Absolutely. you know and that's what we need to operate with and learn about because then when we understand it then we also understand others more which comes with acceptance of each other and then uh, i like the idea of bringing men just in this season no <laughs> just in this case, what I mean in this precise moment of our conversation. Why? Because if you are in an intimate relationship, so you have a partner who is also 
the part in life, uh, sexually and everything yeah. else. This season is such a, a treasure <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's a very bonding season, meaning it's a moment then that can really unify us a lot. Why? Because we are very sensitive and we have this ultra state of consciousness that do happen, either we recognize them or not. It's simply that if we pay attention, we perceive them, otherwise they go unnoticed, but mm -hmm. they're still there. So if you are in an intimate relationship, you know, and we have to make up because we have something going on that troubles us, it's possibly the time because we are so open, if our partner is uh, psychola aware, can help us. We yes. can go together to a land of peace where we can uh, take our armor off and uh, we can have a good conversation, a good chat, meaning that chat that goes down deep. It's open. Isn't yeah, it? it comes and that more from inside rather it comes than from, from the sort of heart, the brain, and yes, exactly. But the because the woman feels so vulnerable, the woman feels so we will open up more, won't we? Yes. The thing is, we need to know our partner is going to yeah. meet us there in the middle, yeah. and so we can totally open up, and at the same time the other side knows this so so they can, can help us yes exactly so it's like uh, we wouldn't go down uh, with lots of energies and chat and and everything that you can imagine oh, on goodness. a little duckling or little puckling <laughs> or you know we, we think in this term it's like we become that little embryo mm. that it needs being nurtured mm -hmm. it needs being looked after. So we need special attention doing yeah. that. Yeah, needs to be fed, important, <laughs> practical <laughs> stuff, love, right? <laughs> yes, but also fed, meaning that uh, our partner in that week can, if it's uh, psycho-aware, can uh, treat take, it. Yes, can take care of, for instance, of, of cooking for us, mm. for instance, because by doing that, us as women, because we are very open, mm -hmm. it will feed us at a different level, of course physically, yes. but it will feed us at a psychological and emotional. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what we have uh, in the normal society, uh, or it's been like this for a long, long time, mm -hmm. is this uh, bad press about uh, women menstruating and uh, Women being in the inner winter of mm -hmm. the NS, in the yes. inner winter, yes. and uh, there is no understanding of what actually a woman is during those uh, two weeks. I think that helps a lot because you know, by us sharing this knowledge, it will help many women to become aware, absolutely, and they will try and pay more attention to the, the conversations they're having, what they're doing, how they're looking after their body, you know. And yes, how they spend their time. Because obviously I can compare it to myself because I live with myself. I am me. And I can see now after our discussion, you know, I, I could notice my moods going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I always questioned it. Sort of like there is certain time in a month when I feel just exhausted. I feel so productive and so positive and so like I can achieve anything. And then comes the time when I feel... That's it, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, I would like now to have an overview because yeah. we really would put everything into play. So, we've been through the four seasons and we kind of become aware of the di different energies we go through. So, first of all, well done, all of us, because it's tiring, isn't it? Every week, more or less. We have this change of yes. energy. <laughs> yes, yes. For women, yes, absolutely. Gosh, this is not really that uh, flow. Here the we time, go again. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, it's okay to flow, meaning to go to have these different energies, and it's actually normal. Nature designed us this way. So why do we want to go against the current? Mm -hmm. So, 
forget about the breast, bad press that uh, is put out there. Just pay attention to yourself and see what happens for you. Because just that, uh, what I say, it can make sense for you, but you have to experience it. You have to pay attention that, that, that's to what the is talking Yes, to. that's what you really then you know the the what is the the tire hits the road right meaning is the right way of saying it meaning i would encourage you to track your cycle meaning following through and see what happens to you really because i might lie to you so i am challenging you try it out see, see what, 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 what happens see. for you yeah. but that's your homework now, now let's, 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 let me give you the overview because this is very important. The overview is what makes everything oh, make together. sense. Yeah, exactly. So we go through this for season. Now, maybe you have not, not thought about this or not noticed that there are two seasons. They are very outgoing and energetic and there are two seasons they are more low key. Mm -hmm. So obviously, it's obvious, spring and summer, are very outgoing season they are very more energetic one so we are in those two weeks I'm talking about weeks because generally speaking we could not sure but we could have a cycle of 24 28 days so uh, more or less like the moon but uh, it varies from woman to woman so for some women it's longer for some other women it can be shorter and besides, because our cycle, female cycle, is the most stress sensitive system we have in our body, you know, if we are going through trouble waters, we might have shorter cycle, we might have longer cycle. So it's okay. That's natural mm -hmm. as well, by the way. There's nothing wrong with it. So we are talking in weeks just for conversation sake here. But the first two weeks, the spring and the summer, are very masculine type of energy. It means we have more energy, so we are more outgoing. And of course, there are the two seasons that normally are very accepted by society. I mean, by the outer world. Why? Because a woman can yes, be yes. very productive, right. is yes woman, says yes, yes, yes to everything. Yeah. And uh, so it's very social and uh, it's, it's open to things, etc. So all okay. Yeah. <laughs> then though we are not okay anymore. Yes, yeah, for those two weeks. Because there are two going weeks down the hill. that are the autumn and winter, and autumn and winter are more inward energy. So pay attention. More inward energy it means is the complementary energy to the masculine energy. So it's the feminine. Mm -hmm. So being feminine, it means, nothing wrong with that, <laughs> it's a more subtle energy, it's a more uh, cooler. Yes, yes. And yes. it's cooler in also other cooler. senses. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. more passive, it's more reflective, more nurturing, quieter type of energy. And because of this, uh, we become no women, right? I'm saying more no's. But this is very good if we look at it, even on the production side of things, why? Because by saying no, we then focus on the things that are important. So that's why I was mentioning earlier, the winter, the especially the autumn season or week, is the week when if we have trouble to sort out, that's the right week to do it. Yeah. If you have accounts to do, that's the right week to do it. Okay. You, you need to clean your flat, that's the right week to do it. Get rid of what's not needed. Yes, what, it's, it's needed. very, very uh, effective. Very effective, very good week. So is it like kind of yin and yang? Energy? Yes, we can compare it if you want. Warm and cool and, you know, exactly. uh, sort of feminine and, you know, masculine, because that sounds... Yeah, if, it, if, if you want to compare to, if you, I mean, it's quite a well uh, symbol, non symbol, the symbol of the Tao, which is yeah. the white and black with the dot of yeah. the opposite color in it. So, you know, it means the union of the feminine and the masculine. Yeah. So, it means the union, the complementary union of the outward energy, more of 
male, obviously more active, and the feminine energy, which is quieter, more nurturing, is more sensitive, and it's a different type of energy. Mm -hmm. But the two together can can produce the whole. Absolutely. Well, they are a whole. I mean. Exactly. Yeah. So we have been gifted by nature, by this wonderful way of operating, that uh, if we are aware of it, how it happens, we can use it to, to our advantage. Absolutely, and I think it's just life becomes much easier, because, you know, especially if you live with somebody, if you're by yourself, you know, you can be in whatever, whatever mood yeah. you want to, yeah. but if you want to really create sort of a nice, harmonious, relationship or a family lifestyle you know anything then it's important to understand it because and also the other side to understand it because if you feel that you need time and space for yourself then the other person should give you that space yeah you absolutely. know and you should also be able to communicate it that way that you don't feel exactly yeah. so i think yeah, i think yeah. knowing is yeah. there, there is no no reason for war yeah, exactly. But war happens because of lack of awareness. So yeah. if we are not aware, we are not claiming what what is there for us. Uh, also, the, the awareness makes everything easier because uh, if a woman knows that uh, the following week is going to be kind of more low-key type of week, it's not going to plan possibly um, climbing my mountains or no uh, or uh, you know uh, the meetings you mentioned uh, yes I want to go back to the meetings but in a family life for instance you know you might avoid to have the kids party yeah. because for you it might be too much and you can wait at the end of the day you know okay is this your son's birthday maybe you can make an exception but at least you know that you are going to be that that kind of energy so maybe you look for more help yeah or you plan it in the first two weeks you know yeah. and take it easy the third week exactly. definitely the fourth week you know do the the, the productive kind of side to exactly. it up front it's a quite it's the result yeah. of awareness so you know that it's very likely you're going to feel that way and by the way i have to warn you uh, our nature is, is very clever and uh, when as you were saying when you are in summer it's very difficult to imagine the, the way you are going to feel in winter. Why? Because it's like when you're hot, you just yes. want to, to strip yes. off the yes. thing, yes. you know? You just want to run out there and do yeah, anything. The idea of running. a winter coat or a woolly scarf it makes you yeah. 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 And it's exactly what happens for us every month, you know, because it is the way it is. And I've been tracking my cycle for a long, long time, <laughs> and still I'm caught out so many times. Oh, and, and, and so, I'm warning you, so you know, uh, it's, it's you, not you will never, no, 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 you will never get, even if you're aware, it, it catches you up, you know, yeah. it catches you out and you think, oh yeah, why haven't I thought about it? <laughs> why? Because there is actually a purpose. Nature wants to, to follow this flow because it actually is quite handy, to be honest. And um, I think we learn. I think by you know making mistakes and by sometimes being too fast with speaking rather than thinking and listening to our inner voice, you know, it it I think that's how we develop and how, that's how yeah. we grow because you know by so for example making mistakes everybody makes mistakes come on we are human beings okay yeah. and if we are not aware of our energy by making those mistakes you learn from them. So yeah, you become wiser every single time you make one. Yes, if you're aware. So it's a, it's a good thing. There's no such yeah. thing as no, a no, mistake. Absolutely. It's a test. That's why I, I am convinced that nature knows best. Yes. Meaning, meaning that... Uh, what does it mean? Well, think about it. If every month you are going through this, which I was saying, it, it, it can be tiring, right? Mm. Um, you actually, you, you, if you are aware, you... Uh, have a chance every month to experience yourself in four types of energy. So basically, you are not just one woman, you are actually four women. Wow. <laughs> so now that's a ch challenge, gentlemen. <laughs> I to, to actually ex accept it, right? And for women, well, how, ladies, are you going to cope with that? <laughs> yes. So, Dr. Jacqueline and Mr. Hyde, uh, 
but actually it's very handy to get to know yourself mm -hmm. um, and uh, why not uh, why not to really discover all these parts of you that nobody true. told you yeah. that they're there for you to be discovered and again like I was saying I will come back to this thing like for instance you know uh, you might say, but I work, I can't just play my life according to my inner uh, season because, you know, work is a challenge. Yeah. So, what can you do to kind of cope with normal life, so to speak, normal life? Well, okay, what you can do is, well, first of all, start track your cycle and see if it's really what happens to you. First, that's the main thing. Don't believe it, you need test to it. Yes, exactly. Right, okay, okay. first. Second, Within time, after cycle after cycle, you start maybe realize, well, yes, okay, obviously maybe I have to go to the office every day, but you will see that maybe in the, 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 the autumn season, you might be, because you know you are going to have less energy, uh, you organize yourself in a way that you can sleep a bit longer because you prepare stuff so maybe the day before yeah, exactly. or whatever. Yeah. Um, then, uh, exactly, and then uh, for instance, uh, uh, you know you're going to bleed in more or less, you're going to know it's going to happen next week, mm -hmm. so maybe you do the big shopping for the following week, instead of having to go do the big shopping, you have already the st stuff you, that you're going to eat, for instance, mm -hmm. for that week, of course stuff that is not perishable, but, mm -hmm. and you will see, you, you, Naturally, you, you develop this kind of um, savviness, being clever, and especially if you are in a relationship, you know, you simply can ask your partner to help you out. Mm -hmm. And for instance, uh, uh, oh, you are in your menstruating week, you are very much uh, under the lube type of person, mm -hmm. and you have a big boarding meeting at work. What do you do? Well, think about it. You are going to be very sensitive. You are going to be very emotional, absent-minded, absent maybe. So if you have, for instance, a very important meeting, you are going to know that it's going to happen in that, in that period. You will prepare it, your, all the papers or whatever, before, in the, in, in, by the way, in your... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, in your uh, autumn when you are very clear oh, and sharp mm -hmm. by the time you go to the meeting you are already feeling oh but you prefer you you can cover mm -hmm. yourself up right and uh, because it's the true moment of truth i was saying in the winter right it's perfect for you maybe if you want to discover the real truth behind uh, some people you know or inside some people that they, they keep it hidden from yes. you or whatever. Why? Because you become very psychic naturally mm -hmm. that week. Yeah. So it can be very handy, can't it? Yeah, yeah. But the truth will come out. Yeah. So what I mean is, yes, maybe you might be less energetic, but you have other skills yeah. that are in your toolbox and you can use. And you didn't know about it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Yes, in your summer it would have been better if the boarding mm -hmm. meeting happened in summer because you would have felt you would have felt very outgoing. Mm -hmm. Yes, woman, remember? But maybe you wouldn't have asked the same question that you would have asked in winter because is, you are in winter. That is very true. That is very, very true. Yeah. And I think that also comes with our mind playing a little bit according to our energy. Yeah, because you know, if you pay attention to it, it's you know the questions you ask could be different yeah. at different times. So, so I was talking about, about freedom, right? Because I want you to become freer, yeah, not less. That's the point. <laughs> yes, that's yes. the point. Getting <laughs> getting the awareness and the knowledge is yes. to set you free, really. Yeah. So why are you freer? Well, because you know why instead of living in this unknown type of stumble and you know going type day of, by day and yeah, type yes. of life you see that actually I can predict certain things and if I can you know obviously like in life there's a big unknown there's always you know this question mark about many things but we can't control them so let's forget those they yeah. happen anyway but on our side we live in this body and if 
this body serves us in a certain way, we can use it to feel freer. Why? Because we go with the flow rather than against it. And I think it's becoming really productive in your life. Yeah, because if you, think, if you think about it, this idea of the everlasting growth, it's a con. Mm. We, I mean, in nature, look, look in nature, everything cycles, right? There are seasons. In, in, in winter, rotate. Yeah, in yeah. winter, there's snow. You can't have crops in winter, yeah. right? You plow the field and that's it. Yeah. You have to wait for summer. Yeah. And so if nature plan is this way, it's because possibly there's a bit of uh, good uh, uh, you know, uh, reason for that. So living this way is much more organic, it's much more natural and easier mm -hmm. than uh, having this life that apparently we are supposed to be the same every day. Absolutely. How boring. <laughs> Absolutely. How boring. <laughs> no. There is much more to experience, isn't it? Yeah. And so for men, you think you have one woman, you have four. <laughs> With the price of one, you get four. Well, that, that's a bargain, right? <laughs> a bargain. Four yeah. for one. <laughs> that's, oh, that's nice. Yes. But as we can see, there is, there is so much to learn about ourselves. Yes. And therefore about others. And I think by sharing this knowledge and this wisdom, to me that is a wisdom to understand yourself yeah. really. We can help others to kind of become one. Because there is no need to judge anyone. There is no need to kind of push them to the side when, you know, that is the time when someone might just need a hand, you know, a hug or just a smile. And that can change their life. Yes, and uh, you mentioned earlier, I'm sure I repeat, about the fact that women, as women, we are so pivotal in society, right? Because a woman is a mother, uh, is a lover, a wife, a spouse. Uh, obviously, we, these days we go to work and so we impact uh, the life of our colleagues, people around us, etc., whatever we do in any way. And, um, you know, if she is. Uh, raising children, you know, they are the future generation. And so, in a woman, there can be so much wisdom mm. and easiness when she is consciously flowing. Yeah. Uh, so, even if she's in winter, she can have a good word, uh, you know, helping her child or colleague or whoever, especially in the season because she's more sensitive. Or maybe if she's in summer, she can be, because she's been more energetic, she might have a solution, a practical solution, it's, for yeah, instance, you know? It really helps help us to become better mothers, yeah. better daughters, let's say, you know, grandmothers, better wives, you know, girlfriends, whatever, by understanding what is happening within our energy. Yeah, and also, uh, if we accept it, uh, then uh, automatically our communication, our way of yes. uh, sharing our energy becomes natural. So instead of having this, oh, I should say yes because da 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 da, yes, but so I can't, and so you say yes, and then you betray yourself, and then you can't keep your word, and then you are in a mess. Living in regrets. Yes, yes in your mess. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are very good at that, right? No, no. Accept it. Just say no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's much. It's better. okay to say no. And, and it's if much, you like saying no, say no. You can say it with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no with a smile is a no. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, that's and nice. And by the way, it's much better, if you think about it, it's much better to have a no, knowing it's true, rather than have those yeses that you, even if you heard it, oh, she said yes. Yeah, but actually she meant no. Yes, yes, and we can pick up on it. <laughs> there is only one truth, exactly. Um, so I think we could wrap it up quite nicely because um, for me, especially, I've learned so much actually. Because now I'm going to understand my cycle and my seasons, and um, I'm willing to give it a try and see how I can manage my energies and each week and how productive I can be and when I, where I really need to pull back and just sort of take it easy and look after myself rather than everybody else. So 
I, I have learned so much and I hope you did too. And keep in mind that we are not linear. Well, by the way, not, nobody is really. It's just this preconceived uh, uh, patriarchy idea, you know, uh, that, you know, we should be the same every day. We should be. That I, 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 I doesn't just, work. No, we are who we are. And that's the truth. We are who we are. So. And um, I'm sure men cycle too. It's just that they don't bleed. So they can't really have a kind of... A, uh, it's more difficult for them to track it, right? It would be interesting. <laughs> it would be interesting. If there is someone out there who knows about the men, then it would be interesting to find out and share more. Yes, yeah, I'm sure they have their own side. Beneficial of, for yeah. you gentlemen. So. But... Uh, you can adopt uh, our cycle, meaning that, uh, especially if you are in a relationship, you have to adopt it anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't want you to see it as an imposition. But what I want to say is for a man who is in a relationship, automatically, he, if it's a real intimate relationship, you are tuned into your partner. So mm -hmm. uh, because you tune into your partner and you appreciate that, at the same time, uh, you will see, if you pay attention, that uh, automatically you as, as well, you fall into those seasons more. Mm -hmm. It's natural. It's a natural yeah. thing. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, bad things. You know, your sexual life, yes, is affected by this too, obviously. Of course. But, but uh, what I mean in much more simple terms, common life, you know, practical. Uh, you know, as men, as a man uh, in a relationship, obviously in a relationship, good one that you want, mm -hmm. uh, you will tune in into your partner, and automatically you will have this uh, plethora of season. You know, this flow, natural flowing. That you will see that it feels organic, it feels natural because we are designed this way. Now it's very tricky, actually, talking about relationships. We've got four seasons, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, which one of those is the best one to actually look for the right partner? Because you know, with the ah, first two, we are all flourishing and we are all out there, so we are most likely probably, probably to just fall into it. <laughs> ah, for women who are on the dating scene, very good question. Ah. Let me tell you, share this with you. Um, if you're looking for a partner, pay attention in your spring and summer because you will be very outgoing. You will date uh, <laughs> like mad. Yeah. But then you have, and you might feel very sexual as well because it's a natural thing. But then, if you're aware that you are in those season, it can uh, really be a good to have because then you think oh hold your horses right yeah, yeah. go go yeah. slowly take it easy yeah and then again if you are in on dating scene on the dating scene uh, in the following two season you your energy is slower yeah. so it means that uh, you will see things that in the previous two season you haven't seen so will be very handy for you if you date somebody new uh, you will see it in a certain way in, in your spring and then it comes autumn and you think actually i don't think he's saying the truth about that thing i don't think so yeah <laughs> and you will ask further <laughs> yes, yes 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 you, you pay more attention to how you really feel from the other side rather than from the yes. utter kind yeah, of absolutely. you know yes yes so i think everything takes time right yeah and so I'm cycle sure. a few times before, <laughs> before coming to a conclusion. Before making a decision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, I know that you preferred some vision of a woman of yes. the 21st century, and I think it would be lovely to share it. So. Yeah. Yes, I would love doing that. Actually, I can explain. This um, these things actually came to me through uh, over a period of time. I haven't sat one day at the table and just wrote it down. Uh, it came through to me, and um, uh, how to say, I believe we can change things for the better, and we are we in a very changing times, mm -hmm. uh, in well. interesting, you know, and so uh, I have this vision of the woman of the 21st century, because it's this century, right? Um, 
and I know like through visions, you know, just one person having a dream doesn't count in anything really. As we say, together we can make a difference. Yeah, and so uh, that's why I want to read this to you and, and just leave you with this and just see how, how, how do you feel while I'm reading this. And then... Um, Does it leave you with this? Yeah, or I leave it with you. So I just want to share with you today my vision, which is the vision of the woman of the 21st century. So, the woman of the 21st century is the woman of the next generation. She is beautifully strong. She acts according to her sole purpose. And because of that, she is irresistibly magnetic and engages in empowering relationships with men and women. She gives birth every day to her reality. She pays attention to her feelings and her feelings guide her to create what she wants. She does it through relationships that help her to discover more about herself. Relationships are her tool in the playground of life. Her feelings are her strength. They complement her intellect. They are a precious source of inner guidance. She is clear about her vision and purpose. Therefore, she is a beautiful inspiration. How does she do all this? She's in contact with her womb. She's aware of her cycle. She acts following her energetic flow. She elegantly flows in the river of life, guided by herself, her center. This makes her a magnet, a beacon of inspiration rather than perspiration. Do you like the picture? Does it sound enticing? Does it make you feel good? I can smell the scent of this woman. The life of this woman tastes great. And I hope that lines for you will improve because now you will be cycle savvy. Thank you. I don't think we need to add any more. That was just a beautiful way of finishing it. So if you have any comments, please comment below and we will come back to you, okay? Thank you so much, Gabby. It was You're a welcome, real pleasure. Monica. Thank you so much for having me for this chat. <laughs> anytime, anytime. I think we should do it again because there will be more women that will be interested in finding Yeah, maybe more. if you write the questions, we can do yes. uh, an answer uh, session. Yes. Absolutely. So comment below, let us know what you think, and we hope that it helped you, okay? Thank you again. Thank you, Monica. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.